creeks running through Shelby County, calm Monday. A drastic difference from the more than 10 feet they rose Saturday evening. You can still see where the water rose on this home. The pair who lives here had to climb the stairs and go to the balcony to call for help. Lord, I was shaking. <laughs> It was terrible. Wayne Gibson and Helen Spencer say they lost a lot to the rushing water. I had a deep freezer full of food. It took everything. I had turkey and two hams. And things that can't be bought. 30 years worth of memories. We had pictures and everything got destroyed. It's rough, I'll tell you. It really is. While first responders worked to save Gibson and Spencer, another emergency arose right in the middle of the street in front of their home. A couple stranded in their car, surrounded by water. It was like a foot deep of water just rushing down. We couldn't do a thing. We just sat there. Luckily, responders were able to reach them. Had they been a little closer to the stream, a bad situation could have been much worse. And now when you think about it, it makes you more scared. You understand what them people in eastern Kentucky went through. And you say, oh, everybody, you got time to get out of, you got time to do this. You don't have time. Baghdad Fire Chief Rusty Newton says he and other first responders know how important split decisions are. And they don't want to see someone to, to not only lose their property, but they don't want them to lose their lives either. The home behind him hit hard. The family who lived here narrowly escaping through this window. We've seen flooding in this area nothing to this magnitude. Newton showing us debris and damage, all of which is more visible now. But he's grateful the flood didn't take what matters most, the people he serves. In Shelby County, Bobby McSwine for the WHAS 1119 on your side.